All right, guys, Mrs. Yonke's back with the letter K. I kicked out Frank. He was kind of grouchy and weird. So we're on page 20, letter K. And I love this letter because it's the first letter in my name. However, I would never write it like that if I was writing my name Kimberly. Why not? Because it has to start with an uppercase letter. This is lowercase. I'm only teaching you the lowercase letters right now. And then when we finish the whole lowercase alphabet, we'll switch to uppercase. Your pencil is down. You know it's going to say that. Watch me do a K. K's look pretty crazy. If you look at the numbering, there's four steps you have to do. The first one goes up and around like a loop letter. And the second one goes straight down just like an L. Now you're going to do that basketball bounce back up. The tricky part is the rest of the K, that it's going to go in and out. But all of that happens within the middle to the bottom space. So it kind of looks like an E, right? Like a weird looking E, but it all has to happen from the middle to the bottom. The only part that goes above that is that L part. So it's very kind of bizarre looking. So put your pencil down and watch me do the first one. Just like we did with the L, start at the bottom, go up to the top, loop around, go straight down, stop, basketball bounce like we did with an H, but then you're going to go out and do a little like teardrop, touch, and go back up to connect. This is a really tricky letter, one of the trickiest lowercase. Watch me do one by myself. So you're going to do an L where you go up to the top, down to the bottom, do that basketball bounce. When you go back up to the middle, like this is how we did an H when we went straight down, instead you're gonna go in so you, it makes like a little teardrop and then go back out to connect. When I'm saying a teardrop, think about like if somebody was going to draw a tear, it usually looks like a little, or, or a raindrop. It looks like that, it's got a little point and then a round part. So if you look at what I did here, it kind of looks like a little raindrop, a sideways little raindrop, okay? So one more time, watch me do another one and then you'll do it with me. I'm gonna do it by myself though, ready? So you're going to go start at the bottom, you're gonna loop around, go straight down, basketball bounce up, do that little raindrop so it touches right there and then go back out. Okay, do one with me, ready? Pick up your pencil. Start at the bottom, curve up to the very top, turn around, go straight back down, basketball bounce up, go out, make your little teardrop in, and goodbye. Now do an in-between, start at the bottom, curve up to do your L, go straight down, basketball bounce up. When you get to that middle line, go in to do your little teardrop, and goodbye. Pretty tricky. Let me do one wrong. Look up here, I'm gonna do one wrong. And I want you to figure out what I'm doing wrong. Actually, I'm going to do a wrong one here. Just watch. Put your pencil down. What's wrong with it? I mean, there's a lot wrong with that. That looks insane. One thing is, this is not supposed to go above the middle, and that one did. Another thing is, remember that teardrop is supposed to be pretty small, and this one is humongous. That actually looks more like an oval than a teardrop. So make sure that you're not uh, going too tall and that you're not making that teardrop too wide. Before you do the rest on your own, make sure your pencil is down and spell this. Ready? What letter? K, H, and that's not a word, just K, H. So you'll trace it, write it. This one, K, R, trace it, write it. K, L, like in Kleenex, K-L, oops, sorry, K-I-P, Kip, Kip, I don't know what that word means, a lot of times they use that name in like kindergarten books, and last word, K-I-S-S, -S -S, kiss, so you trace it and write it. So finish the page when you're done. Circle your most favorite K that you did. And get...